specifically for nutrition, you know, it, it comes down a lot to what and when. Fencing is an interesting sport. Uh, it's a mixture of aerobic and anaerobic work. So, okay, what does that mean? Aerobic basically means that it, you're using oxygen. Anaerobic means that you're not using oxygen. And so those uh, use different metabolic pathways. Um, and they can burn, um, you know, different macronutrients, essentially. I mean, primarily you're using carbohydrate. Um, and so, you know, that's glucose uh, in the blood, or then you break down glycogen, which is basically more complex glucose that's stored in the muscles. Um, and so you need to, when you're a high level athlete, you need to make sure that you have a high source of glucose. So what is glucose? I mean, it's sugar. And you hear a lot of people be like, oh, like I don't eat sugar. I mean, pretty much anything you eat is actually going to break down to it has to break down to glucose, essentially, if it has any form of carbohydrate. Um, and so that's really the, the base um, of what I'm working from. Okay, so I need, based on my caloric output, um, so how much am I working out, you know, I need to make sure that I have enough glucose in my system to fuel. Um, so that was kind of my starting point. How, how many calories am I burning? Um, and then how many carbohydrates do I need to, to fill that? Then when I started seriously weight training, I was like, okay, like I want to put on some muscle. Um, so then you, you kind of turn to the academic literature in terms of how to do that. Um, so, you know, I consume a very high amount of protein. So I consume about 200 grams per day. Um, so, and that's based on my body weight um, because you want to do, you know, X number of grams per pound for, well, per kilo um, of body weight. So you kind of do that calculation out. Um, and then I use fat to kind of fill in the rest. I'd say that that made a huge difference over time. I really saw a change in my fencing at the highest level. You can argue that everybody pretty much has the same skill set, but what gives you that edge to success? Um, that's kind of really what separates the people who are on top of the podium from the people who aren't.